Hi, this is Bruce Lemieux with MoCo Real Estate. As we head into the end of summer, it's a great time to take a look at our real estate market for the first half of 2014 to see how we're doing. We had just under 6,100 contracts through the end of June this year. Now, this is down from this time last year. This may be a basic indicator telling us that our market is cooling off a bit. A typical question we get from buyers and sellers is, will there be more activity in the fall once school starts? Homes enter the market and sell every month of the year, but typically we see most activity in the first half of the year. Now let's look at the number of days it took to get a home under contract. This time last year, 80% of the homes that sold got a contract between 3 and 115 days. The median days to sell was 13 days. This year, 80% of the sales received contracts between 4 and 122 days with a median of 18 days. Now that's still historically low, but nearly 40% higher than last year. And now the most important metric for buyers and sellers is how are home values trending. 80% of the homes sold in the first half of 2013 from 183000 to 920000 with a median sales price of $417,000. This year, the lower end of the market continued to increase in value, but the median and top of the market was down 2%. Now, to provide some context, note that homes sell for more or less depending upon the time of year. This chart summarizes median home values by month over the last couple of years. The highest home sales occur in late spring, early summer, and we see the lowest sales prices in the winter. Okay, the last metric to show is inventory. Inventory is the ratio of the number of homes available at any point in time to the rate of contracts. This is the single best indicator of how our real estate market is trending. Here's a look back through 2012. Inventory tends to trough in the spring and early summer, and then it typically peaks in the fall. Inventory was a mere 1.8 months last spring. This year, it was 2.3 months, still low, but higher than last year. Now, there's a direct relationship between inventory and home prices. Here's the home value graph overlaid with inventory trends. You'll see that lower inventory favors sellers, resulting in higher prices, and higher inventory indicates more buyer choice and ultimately lower values. Keep an eye on inventory going forward to understand where the market is headed. You can see basic stats like inventory and home values at mocorealestate.com for each area in Montgomery County. Just click your area of interest and the charts are at the top of the page. That's it for now. Hopefully this helps you understand our real estate market a bit better. Contact us anytime if you need to buy or sell a home in Montgomery County. And thanks for watching.